The strange thing is that I trained at the London School of Contemporary Dance and then I joined the London Contemporary Dance Theatre and I had no interest in musical theatre whatsoever and actually I didn't really have an interest in the pop world. I was completely focused on being a contemporary dancer. I hadn't even really choreographed very much because I've been with phenomenal choreographers in this building from you know, Robert Cohan, we do doing, doing Martha Graham's works, you know, Merce Cunningham was our teacher, came and taught us. And so the idea of choreographing was sort of, I find it quite intimidating. And it wasn't until purely by chance, and I started working with Kate Bush and doing videos with her. And I was really dancing with her in the beginning. And then I started choreographing, it was a world which I felt secure to choreograph in. And that was sort of my breakthrough into the you know, video world, and then after that, the musical theatre world. I was very lucky to train at the London School of Contemporary Dance, and also really lucky to be involved in London Contemporary Dance Theatre. Working on film is unbelievably different to working in theatre. Choreographing for theatre is much more about uh, a two dimension because you're working normally in, in a proscenium arch, whereas working in film, it's a complete sort of 360 rotating eye you have on whatever you're doing. So when you choreograph for film, all the time you're moving around, you're seeing the camera move, and you're looking at whatever you're choreographing from so many different angles. And also, there's so many more choices in film. Also, in theatre, uh, you choreograph, and the audience could be watching anything. I mean, you know what you want the audience to watch, but they could be looking at the proscenium, they could be looking at the orchestra, they could be looking at the person, and they could look at anything. When you're doing a film, you can absolutely prescribe by your shot what you want the audience to look at. That's why I love film. Choreographing for film is a long process because I work a lot in small workshops first, uh, getting ideas with my own troupe of dancers, and then I work with storyboard artists. You know, so I'm working out the shots with storyboard artists, and then I gradually develop it and develop it, and then I film everything I want uh, in the studio so that by the time we actually go to film it on the main stage, Every shot is worked out, every angle is worked out, and everything is worked out before we actually get there. Because a filming day costs a quarter of a million pounds, and so therefore you want to know exactly what you want to do. So there's no experimentation. You absolutely go in there and you film, you know, every sort of stepping stone you've done along the way to get there. So this term, the mid last term, I've been working with the, the MA screen dance students, and I really love it because in a, in, in a way, it's so important. I'm always working within my, with, you know, I mean, I lead whatever I'm doing, and it's so nice to work with uh, younger people with different ideas, with different approaches. And so, I mean, I'm teaching them stuff, I hope, but also being with them and I'm seeing some of the work they're doing, it's really interesting and, uh, Inspiration, actually, really, you know. So, and I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it very much. The evening I'm going to do here in March at the place is really. I'm going to talk a little bit about myself and my background, and how somebody from the kind of rarefied world of contemporary dance has moved into mainstream commercial theatre, and then moved from really from musical commercial theatre into film. And I'm going to talk about my passion for film and I'm going to show different clips of films and talk about the clips and talk about the work experience and talk about how I create things, especially for film. And then I'm going to show with my MA students here, we're going to show little bits of their choreography and their filming stuff because it's just about my passion for film and I want to show different sort of um, bits of it. Can I share any of my juicy gossip? The trouble is that some of it's so gossipy I can't even talk about it. I think Piers Brosnan is a, is a great case really. I mean, I, when we were 
doing Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. And Piers was skipping up and down all the hillsides. And I said, to, I stopped him one day, I said, Piers, yeah, do, do you mind skipping up and down all these mountains? And he says, listen, it makes a lot of people very happy. And so as long as I make them happy, I don't care, really. And, you know, he, Piers Brosnan's a really lovely, lovely man. Yeah. I mean, there's so many gossipy stories I can't say. <laughs>